title Madness um, for our new record kind of was created in my head based on um, just kind of how I view life, you know, um, either my life personally or just kind of how I view life in general and how it's just busy and everyone's on the go and everybody's always doing something and it's always chaotic and madness and just kind of being caught in the middle of it and figuring out who you are in the midst of like all the craziness. That's life, isn't it? Yeah. I try to put a positive <clears throat> twist on everything, whether it's negative or not, you know? So the theme may be negative, but there's always some sort of positive outcome. I guess we put this term on ourselves as being like grown up or grown ups. And um, I feel like I'm just still a kid, you know? I look like a kid, um, I act like a kid. So I think, yeah, the fumblings of growing up are definitely always in my head as far as writing songs goes. There's, there's one part where I, uh... I yelled something in the mic while I was playing drums, and it's you just have to listen for it. Listen really closely. Just Kellen doesn't even know about it yet, so. I uh, I played scissors on a song. You did? Played scissors, yeah. I just went like that with scissors because John thought that would be cool. Um, it sounded neat. So in the song Gold, there's like snip sounds, and those are actually me playing scissors. And, um, the track Kick Me was just kind of my thought process towards kind of where we were in our career, and. I feel like as you get more noticed and as you get more known, a lot of people want to kind of slander that in a way or be jealous of it. And um, it was kind of my way of saying, do what you want, but we're going to stay like who we are and do as we please. Go, go, go is inspired by the movie American Pie. Um, I was thinking about Jim and how Jim in the movie had no idea what to do and he was kind of growing up in like a teenage adolescence and wanted to explore and experience things and the idea was to create a song about a boy and a girl and having like the whole youth like let's just get messy and figure it out later like I want to go 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 right now and figure it out you know later on we've got time we're still young and that's kind of where I came up with that idea I was like God, I, don't, I love that movie movie brings back great memories, the soundtrack brings back great memories, so a lot of kids go to like college and spend a lot of time like getting degrees and get out of school and have no idea how to like get a job or can't get a job. So I think that, um, again, it just goes back to having that, I guess, belief and positive feeling in yourself. So the idea behind the lyric isn't necessarily the person saying that you'd be nothing, but kind of really putting forth that power of, but I am, you know? And just having that self-belief rather than relying on other people to make you feel a certain way. A lot of kids that come to our shows are screaming out for some sort of attention, um, whether it's self-inflicted or if it's based on um, someone else causing it, you know? so. It's like, I think that there's been songs written about this, like, you know, by other bands and stuff, but never to the extreme to where it's like, this is what this song's about, blatantly, you know? When kids are bringing, like, razor blades and stuff like that to meet and greets and saying, this is my old razor blade, like, someone needs to say something about it. My biggest pet peeve is when we're doing meet and greets and parents walk up and they say, uh, thank you so much, you really saved my kid's life. Like, a part of that is like, oh, cool, I'm flattered, I'm glad that you're child like feels like our music helps them but a part of me is like dude that's your job like that's not my job it's not that hard to notice like what your kids are doing like if they're in the room for four hours and they don't come downstairs they're probably doing something wrong you know i'd really like to just have kids understand that like whether they're you know young and going through school or whatever i mean that seems to be like the biggest thing like i don't like school i get picked on kids call me like ugly or they make fun of me for what I wear. My biggest thing is like, it's like such a short part of your life. And I know that when you're young, you think every day is, that's it. And there's not gonna be a tomorrow. But I think the biggest thing is to just know that after those four years of high school are done, like none of that matters anymore, you know? The real world is a whole lot different and everybody is unique and different. I think it's something to be embraced instead of, um, I guess, made fun of, you know? Mm -hmm. I was always the kind of kid where if I was wearing skinny jeans or tight pants and someone said something negative to me, it made me want to 
I guess, lash out even more in the sense of like, cool, you don't like the way I dress, then I'm gonna dress even more crazy, you know? No, I don't care what anyone thinks. Um, I do, but I don't. Like, yes, I care what our fans think, but to say that I'm not allowed to like a band like Five Seconds of Summer, then I'm sorry. That's your opinion. I'm gonna like what I want. Like, you can have a lot of things for me because I am in a band and I guess you feel entitled to that, but you don't get to decide who I like as far as music. Just like I can't decide who you like. Or so. what you're gonna say. Yeah, I can say whatever I want. Exactly. <laughs>